Hello everyone! So this video is all about rationalization of your uh, basic English test 4. Firstly, I would like to ask for an apology for sending you this video late. Um, it is just that I was so preoccupied with um, many school year-end reports. Um, but I th but I guess it's not too late now because you still have your subject for tomorrow and for Sunday. So... As I've mentioned, this is will be about um, explanation and rationalization of our test for for basic English. So this is a hundred test item. So I hope that you did answer your test honestly and religiously. You did not search it online or search the dictionary because when you will be taking your final examination, you will not make use of internet. You will not make use of dictionary to answer the test it will you will be on your own so i hope that you put yourself into that kind of situation no because because uh if not so kamora said mag ego no i i just hope na that you did answer it honestly honestly because honesty is the best policy charm so again let us have uh rationalization let us start with Number one, so the starting items would test your um, skills in identifying context clues. Uh, if not, in the context clues, the definition or how the word is used in a particular sentence. Let us have number one. She wears gold, but people knows how ostentatious she can be. When you say ostentation, um, presenting to people to be someone that he is not so ostentatious would mean pretentious alpha number two he submitted a grotesque artwork that nobody in the class could relate to so you can see here you can actually have the context clues no nobody in the class could relate to so a grotesque grotesque artwork would mean an a weird artwork, Charlie. Number three. Their clandestine affair remained unknown for three years. You have their clue here. Unknown. So unknown would mean a secret love affair. Bravo. So kung ikaw gusto ka, itago in your relationship for three years? Na, di ka post sa Facebook. So, clandestine for three years. Tagal naman na three years. Pinagbabawal na love. Four. They say love is like a firework, a fleeting moment. Sa kamahal sa firework, dali ra kay mahuman. So, a fleeting moment would mean alpha, brief. Number five. Kara is repulsive and rebellious. She always speaks sordid words. If literally taken, sordid would mean dirty. But take note that this is used to describe words. So we will not say dirty words, but we will say vulgar words. Bravo. Six. Every time I see Kathy looking at me, I feel euphoria in my bones euphoria is um something that gives you happiness so we can say that is ecstasy bravo seven i bought this book because when i read the blurb at the back i fell in love with it so if you have um bought or have um read some of pocket books or any uh, books uh, fictional so you can see that at the back there's a short description on what the book will be all about it's not a summary but the highlights parang kung yung sa 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 what is that some uh movie pa you have the trailer so it will give you or present to you um, some of the highlights, some of the positive points of the book that you will you will 
about to read. So it's not a summary but only a mere teaser. Bravo. Para pagana lang siya, pagana. Eight, finding a way out of the labyrinth is the last challenge of the competition. So when you say labyrinth, this is a maze, Charlie. Yung dagan ka ay oog. Um, like for example, para sa apel na sa mga crossword, crossword, no? Finding a way out of the uh, the labyrinth or the maze. When there's a starting point and then the end point and then naging kikagagian just in order to pass and para makaabot ka sa last point, last ending point, parang the prince will save the princess, parang ganun. Nine, there is still love in our hearts amidst, amidst our seemingly mundane existence. Mundane would be worldly existence. Ah, uh, bravo. So, our love, hindi lang siya um, uh, sa mundo. It goes beyond in this earth. Parang ganun. Pang universe. <laughs> 10. Cassie has a strong pension in collecting cars. So, you have a collection of cars, no? Collecting cars. It's a hobby, pero you have a strong penchant naman siya. Um, it is a, a mere action of collecting cars. So, strong penchant would mean um, a strong fondness, meaning grabe yung kagusto in terms of collecting cars. Bravo. 11. These kits and CDs are going obsolete. So, this kit, CDs, wala na na siya karun ginagamit na to. So, we can um, denote that obsolete would mean outdated delta. That is context clues. The queen of the knights dances vivaciously. No, kung mag magsinulog tag viva, viva. So, it should be very lively. When you say viva, that means Long live, long live, so lively. Na ay queen of the night, and galam niya mo sayaw. So that is an opposite. So when you say vivaciously, that means very lively. Gana kaayo. 13. The court released a dogmatic statement that made more people, that made people more hopeful. So dogmatic would mean assertive bravo so when you say assertive or dogmatic um para siya, it's very clear it's very firm so because it's firm it's very clear so people more people believe to it 14 this generation is prone to plethoric use of gadgets what do you mean by plethoric? We can see our children even if 2 years old, 1 year old is already using cell phone. And even if we are eating, no, halos na maka, makakaon, nagulay cell phone dyan po gatapad. So, plethoric means excessive delta. That is based on experience. 15. I am usually haphazard in composing my poetry. But they turn out so well anyway. When you say haphazard, that is being disorganized alpha. You can see here um, an opposite statement. They turn, turn out so well anyway. So turn out so well being organized. So at the very start, disorganized kaya siya. 16. People use plants to make colorful dyes. I think dyes is a particular word word that is uh, common you know, not very common the word dice were used to color so this is your clue here so what does the word dice it means coloring 17 using IQ tests and MRI brain scans researchers have found that the measurable intelligence of teenagers can rise and fall over time we used to believe that intelligence was static, but now because of new studies, we know that teens and even fully mature adults 
can grow more brain cells when needed. So what does static mean? So your clue here is you have here, we used to believe that intelligence was static, no? But it can rise and fall over time. So, um, but it will uh, used to believe static. So we used to believe that stat, uh, intelligence is not changing. But because of the new studies, uh, it was proven that it is evolving. 18. Jay came hounding, bounding over the flowers and into the yard. He should not jump over the flowers. So you can see here a context clue. Jumping, bounding. So that is leaping. Bravo. 19. Some people are sure that new health care law will mean better care for everyone. Others argue that the law will mean less care and longer waiting lines for those who need to see doctors. It's a controversy that will not go away soon. So a controversy is something that people have a strong disagreements over. So you have here clue others argue. 20. Bill's voice rose to holler. His dad heard the yell across the room. This is your context clue. So yell, so it means that the holler is shouting. Charlie. 21. The bees buzz. The hand clocks. The sheep bleats and the cow moves. So what does the word bleats mean? So bleats means sheepman sheep. So you say ba ba. Twenty two. No matter where you go, the internet is following you. Almost every portable device is being made with an internet connection. Most new TVs and many other applications come with internet connections as well. So the internet is truly ubiquitous. If something is ubiquitous, ubiquitous, so that means that your clue is here. Oh, no matter where you go, the internet is following you. So, uh, so if something is ubiquitous, it means it is everywhere. Charlie. Data. Ah, connected. 23. As a historian, Herodotus never missed any salient point in his creation. The words below are synonyms of the underlying word exact. So, salient point. So, from the options, no, we can see... Here. From the options, we can see here um, possible um, strategy no, elimination. So you have um, leading, relevant, significant. Those are synonymous. No? So what is different? Um, what is one thing that is not part of the group? The opposite. So you have minor, delta. Because of the word exact, diba? in the stem, in the question, it has the word exact. 24. Wherever he goes, this team, Dr. Sanchez is applauded for his life-saving research. What does esteem mean? So applauded, ginapakpakan, because he is greatly admired, delta. 25. I would not leave you come hell or high water. So based on the given sentence, we can surmise that, no? Maabot ng imperno or baha or bagyo di gitika biyaan. This person me means that the speaker won't leave the person no matter what. Sana all. No, no. Dili siya mobiya. Sana all dili kayang mobiya. 26. 
Her nervousness keeps her on her toes. The underlined phrase means, no? on her toes. Kung ato siyang i-literal pag mean, magkinto perminti. Or on her toes, it would mean that she is always alert and cautious. Alpha. Dili po perminti. She's always ready to fight. Kailangan giday away perminti. But you have to be alive, alert, awake, and enthusiastic for whatever may come. 27. Emily Dickinson was ostracized by her peers primarily because of her eccentric principles. The underlined word means, so you have eccentric principles, eccentric meaning um, strange way, different way. So, strange principles. So, os, different man siya na siya kalain nga prinsipyo sa kinabuhi with the other people. That is why the people ostracized her. So, when we say ostracized, that means excluded. Twenty eighth, the death of Nino Aquino prompted the conglomeration of people from different walks of life. No edsa, daghan ka ayong tao ganatapo. The words below are synonyms synonyms of the underlined word except. So ano unsay? What is the opposite term for conglomeration? If it's if we think of the edsa and daming people comes together. So, opposite of that is diffusion, delta. 29. For a non-believer, the noise heard during the street possession would mean cacophonous. The underlined word means if you are a non-believer, di kaganahan sa fiesta, di kaganahan sa sinulog, para sa imo, ang street possession is Loud and unpleasant. Ah, samok ga saba saba. Because you are a non-believer. But if you are believer, na mo apil pa kag sayaw. Thirty. Aside from being a renowned writer, Carl Sandburg is also believed to have the gift of gab. The underlined word means. So what do you mean by gift of gab? That means the ability to speak. Clearly, alpha. So it doesn't. When you speak, it doesn't have to be very persuasive. It should not to be very honest, but it should be very clear so that it will be clearly also misunderstood by your audience. Okay. So at this point, we're going to have the analogy. This is a single word analogy only. And this is from number 31 to 45. And the instruction is you're going to complete the following analogy by selecting the words from the given options. Again, when answering analogy, you have to identify the relationship of both pairs of words because it has to be parallel, it has to be consistent. What is the relationship of the first pair of words should also be the same with the second pair of words. Let's start with number 31. Persimmon is to blank as cotton tail is to rabbit. So what is the relationship of cotton tail to rabbit? This is um, the cotton tail is a type of a rabbit. Therefore, persimmon is a type of something. So, the answer should be, persimmon is a type of a berry. So, the answer for number 31 is delta. 32. Stars is to astronomy as his blank is to history. So, stars is the study, uh, astronomy is the study of stars, while history is a study of, let's see. Go to the options. History is a study of battles. This is alpha. 33. Unity. Blank is to unity 
as dearth is to scarcity. So what's the relationship of dearth to scarcity? So dearth is synonymous to scarcity. And what is synonymous to unity is cohesion. Charlie. So, dearth is another term for scarcity. Cohesion is another term for unity. 34. Aesop is to, stay, is to fable as Homer is to black. So, Aesop writes fable as Homer writes epic. Charlie. Thirty-five, rook is to chess as blank is to badminton. So finding out the relationship of rook to chess, rook is um something that uh the players of the chess play. So para it's an instrument, it's a material in playing a chess. While a shuttlecock is something that you make use in order to play. Badminton. Charlie. 36. Bowler is to blank as satchel is to bag. So the, the relationship of satchel to bag. Satchel is a type of bag. Uh, making sense that in the other pair of word, it's also uh, the relationship ship is also typing so bowler is a type of a hat the kind of hat that bruno mars usually wears so that is a type of a hat 37 blank is to wood as file is to nail so what is the relationship of file to nail so file is used to smoothen nail and now, magpa pedicure ka, magpa manicure, no? To smoothen the edges of the nail, you use a file. So, what do you use to make use, uh, to smoothen the wood? You know, do we make use of a plane or a planer? Kaya ng mural plancha, no? Para mo smooth ang atong woods. Thirty-eight. Volume is to blank as stanza is to poem. The relationship of stanza and poem should be the same with the relationship of volume to the missing term. So stanza is used to divide poem, whereas volume is to use is used to divide encyclopedia. Now we have the encyclopedia being uh, divided or categorized into different volumes volume 1 volume 2 volume 3 and so and so forth you cannot say volume is to measure because volume is um, a type of a measurement you cannot say stanza is a is a is a kind of a poem so again when you when you answer an analogy type of test you have to make sure that the two pairs of words have the same relationship. Again, stanza is used to divide a poem and volume is used to divide an encyclopedia. 39. Blank is to dolphin as herd is to cow. Herd is a group of a cow, a collective noun of a cow. So what do you call a group of dolphins you call them as pod of dolphin like uh, a family uh, a pack of dogs a uh, flock of birds those are what we call as collective noun school of fish so you have herd of cow you have pod of dolphin 40 Pharaoh is the dynasty as blank is to democracy. Pharaoh is the one ruling a dynasty, whereas we called president as the one who called a democracy type of government. 41. Deplete is to decrease 
as blank is to avoid. So the relationship between the two is that deplete is another term for decrease but in a much higher level. So synonymous Japan siya. And to shun is to is synonymous to avoid but in a higher sense of uh, intensity. So you have deplete is to decrease as shun is to avoid. 42. Chatter is to talk as flutter is to flop. That's delta. So chatter is synonymous or another intensity of um, talking and flatter is if, uh, synonymous to flopping. 43. Plead is to blank as submerge is to dip. So you have to identify first the relationship between submerge and dip. Submerge is synonymous to dip but in a deeper sense. No, mas lalum si submerge kaysa ni dip. So pleading is mas bugat mas lalum siya of asking. Charlie. Kung ka pa nagpakiluoy na. Kanina, nanguta na pa. Oh, nanguta na pa. Nag-request pa. Ang isa, nagpakiluoy na. So, in a much deeper sense. So, deeping and submerging is synonymous. But, submerge is deeper than deep. Deep. So, pleading is also deeper than asking. Mas bugat siya. 44. Those is to sleep as tiptoe is to blank so when you dose that is sleeping lightly and tiptoeing is walking lightly alpha and last for our analogy ledger is to accounts as blank is to diary so ledger um ledger is where you take note or you record your accounts and where do you record your observations? You record that in your diary, Delta. So that is for our 15 item test for our single word analogy. Okay, let us continue with number 46. Which of the following is a basic reading skill that enables the student to relate a particularly Particular symbol to a certain sound. So basically, the letters with its accompanying sound. So it means phonics, no phonology. You have the sound. What does a particular letter um, give sound? So vocabulary is the range of how wide or how many are the words that you know, and then the fluency and then the comprehension. 47. What is the smallest unit of speech sound? So, from the vowels, the syllable, the phoneme, and the stress. So, our answer here is the phoneme. This is the smallest unit of speech sound. For example, it can distinguish like a tap. So, the P sound will distinguish um, is the phoneme that will be distinguished from a uh, tab. So you have tap, tab. So the sound of letter B there is your, uh, known as the phoneme, the smallest unit of speech sound. 48. This is the combination of two or more vowels into one phoneme. So what is it? So uh, for example, I, oi. Oi, a. So you have two vowels um, uh, in one sound. So o. Oh. So this is called as diphthong. Or in Filipino, that's diphthongo. 49. How do you call the unit of organization for a sequence of speech sounds which are also considered as Phonological building blocks of words. So this is another term for earlier now, the smallest speech 
ni unit of speech sound. 50. This is drawn over the windpipe when swallowing. So this is like a flap that opens and closes when we speak. Also as when we eat so that um, dilita matukan. So when this is, um, uh, this it should be that the proper, but we have two tubes in our throat now. If it goes on the other side, Munang matuk anta, masud ipanta. So, this will properly close when we swallow or when we talk because it will, um, we swallow saliva as well when we talk. So, that is the epiglottis. Na, kung na ma properly close, ma, ma, ma wrong ta sa timing sa pag close, munang masud ipanta. Like, sa, munang uban nga, ang uban halos ang mumhumugawas na sa tong ilong. 51. What particular skill a student exemplifies if he or she used the word dad instead of using father? So, this is called as the semantics, which is the study of the meaning of the words. Because dad and father has the same meaning. When you say phonology, that is the relationship of sounds. Morphology is um, the formation of words, how the word is is structured like you have if it has a prefix if it has a suffix if it is the past tense uh present tense or the base form syntax is the formation of words in a sentence let us have number 52 which of the following best describes Vowel sounds. All vowel sounds are voiceless. Nasaan na yun? Hmm, where is it? All vowel sounds are voiceless. Our mouth is always open in pronouncing vowel sounds. Our jaw is always tense in pronouncing vowel sounds. Or our vocal tract is oftentimes open and pronouncing vocal sounds so the 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 one that is uh not true a uh, best describes my uh, best describes is our mouth is always open in pronouncing vowels vowel sounds a e e o u so that is always open 54 53 rather what makes the difference between ice cream and i scream the difference is the juncture or the pausing of or the moment it is paused like ice cream and then you have i scream so you have the difference in the pausing ang ice no ang last sound niya as when sa ice cream but in the the other one is i then pause then scream uh similar to um my my turn and then might earn so you have that's the juncture pitch is um the highness and lowness of your voice and then we discuss stress and then intonation is the rising and falling of voice like what is your what is your name or if it's answerable by yes or no it is a rising intonation uh, are you cold are you hungry? So that's intonation. 54. Pertain to the relationship between the sound and the simple symbol. This is graphophonemic. So again, morphology is the structure of the words. Semantics are the meaning of the words. Syntax is the, form the um, formation of words in a particular sentence. 55. This is the first skill a stu student must have before he or she can read. So, on sound na ito pagbabasa gani, di ba? We have to introduce first the sound of the letter. So, it's the phonemic awareness. Dili makamingon. Supposedly, did you come on? This is letter A and the sound of it is letter is A, A, A. So, as teachers, we introduce first the sound before we go to the before we go to the symbol phonemic awareness 56 
This pertains to the pauses or rest in speech. So the, like the difference between I scream and I scream. So this is the juncture. 57. Which among these words has the voiceless th sound? So you have these, mother, think, there. So voiceless, we have think. Pahungaw. 58. Which among the words below has the sh sound? So you have the vision, leisure, sure, salient. So, this alpha and bravo has ZH sound. Delta has S sound. This one has CSH sound. 59. Which word must have the primary stress? Diba, we've mentioned that in a particular word, it could have more than one stress, but there should be a primary stress. The other stress may not be emphasized, um, not so much emphasized compared to the primary stress. So, if we want to emphasize possession, kin sa jitag iya, so we have to emphasize the possessive pronoun in the sentence. And this one, in this sentence, that is my bag, the... Pro possessive pronoun here is my. So we have to emphasize when we um, speak or read the sentence, we have to emphasize the possessive pronoun my. So that is my bag. 60. Which among the sounds below does not belong? You have m, b, w, m. So not using the lips, we have W sound. Ano? M, B, W, N. Parang walay pauses. W. 61. The following are bilabial consonants except. So when you say bilabial, that means making use of your lips. So B, M, P. So wala siya yung gagamit ang lips. We have the H sound. The following are velar consonants except when we say velar consonant, consonants, may mga impit sa nabay uh, moraga sagang when you say it. Na moraga close something sa imuhang palate dari sa imong tutunlan da pit. So, yung, g. So, di ba? May mora o siya o ka ng g. Na ay morag na close da pit sa imong tutunlan. G. And then, wa. So, supposedly, this one, um, except man, so it's either Bravo or Delta. When we say Velar, uh, G, K, O, mm, kind of NJ sound, that is Velar consonant sounds. So, you have two options, that should be Bravo and Delta. Pero, either, anong duha, but supposedly, there, there should be one correct answer. Pero, nasayip lang sa pagka-type sa options. So, my mistake, may apology po. 63. Which of the following has A sound? No? Ma, a, a, a. So, you have mat, cat, hit, cake. So, a, a, a. So, a. So, we have um eh, eh. so we have mat cat hat hit and cake so we have delta cake which of the following has um long i sound so sit black heat bed so you have um mm, heat Long I sound. The following has A sound exact. Crane, snake, whale, sad. So the different, the, um, what is that? <clears throat> the diff, uh, the one that is not, does not belong to the group is Delta. Oh, uh, wait, which one? 
is um, ah 63 pala is so uh, ah yeah wait lang 66 the following has a sound exact sheep net deer b so you have long e sound this one has a uh, short e 67 the following has short i sound exact short i sound exact so you have pig nip eel and then zip so it uh, because it has long i sound 68 the following has long o sound exact ton rope loan goat so long o exact alpha 69 the following has long u sound exact fun blue flu urine so exact fun which of the following has k, k sound you have car sees choice church so you have k sound car which of the following words does not belong to the group think these Thrive theory. So silent ayang th. This one ang different. Seventy two. Which of the following words does not belong to the group? She crash flush pleasure. So you have delta because z h yang sound not s h. Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie have SH sound compared to Delta, which have ZH sound. 73. Which of the following does not belong to the group? Check, char church, charger, crush. So you have Delta. The rest have CH sound. Delta has SH. 74. Which of the following words does not belong to the group? Just large gem game. So in pronunciation, we have delta as game. The rest has G, J sound. 75. Which of the following words has the stress on the first syllable? So we have alpha, differential, financial social resistible so you have social first syllable 76 which of the following words has the stress on the first syllable you have media civilian religious technician so that is alpha 77 which of the following words has the stress on the second syllabus, mis <clears throat> mysterious, topics, various, scenery. So you have mysterious. Which of the following words has the stress on the second syllable? You have media, reposition, ingredient, vegetation. So you have ingredient. Which of the following has the stress on the third syllable? You have toilet, hypnosis, cartoon, diag <clears throat> diagnosis. So you have either alpha or delta. Out. Oh. Um, for a while.
I mean, it's either eighty. Which of the following words has the stress on the third syllable? You have lemonade, impossible, diabetics, technician. So you have diabetics. Which of the following words has the stress on the third syllable? Afternoon, geography. Um, democracy, critical, say so have afternoon. Which of the following words does not belong to the group? Seafood, Iceland, football, clarity, only clarity ha is not a compound noun. Which of the following does not belong to the group? Afternoon, democracy. Mm. Afternoon, democracy, geography, and nutrition. So you have only the afternoon ang naaang stress sa al for a third syllable. 84. Which of the following does not belong to the group? Democracy, tele television, iconic, nutrition. So, television, because it has the stress on its third syllable. The rest has in second syllable. Which of the following does not belong to the group? Relax, decide, receive, silently. So, you have delta, silently. Okay, let us continue with the last part. So, in this part, we're going to have an idiomatic expression. So, our instruction here is, we have to choose the word or phrase that tells the meaning of the underlined idioms. So, again, idioms or idiomatic expressions are also um, figuratively weighing or expressing something. So, it is not what the words literally mean they have deeper meanings uh, beyond the words that they present so let us have number 86 ryan always goes out of the way to help us going out of the way is um going out from the usual the very common so that is exerting extra effort so that is making a special effort to help us so when you say going out of the way so that is extending or making a special effort extra effort in order to to do something so in that sense to help ryan uh, to help the people in need so 87 it's get it's getting late let's get the ball rolling or we will never finish our project Let's get the ball rolling. We often hear that from the MC in order to start the program. So get the ball ball rolling is to begin. Alpha. It eight. Dr. Solis gave a comprehensive lecture on pollution. She knows the subject from A to Z. So, knowing from A to Z, you know, from alpha down to Z is knowing um, the entire topic well. But you also have the term here, comprehensive. So, we can say that uh, Dr. Solis knows the topic very well, alpha. If we say completely mang good, no. If we say mang A to Z, mang good siya. So, all the alphabets in the letter are um, included. So, complete na siya. But, the, knowing something completely is not the same with knowing something very well. You might know things, you might know the concept, but you might have not understood it very well. So, that is, um, alpha should be the appropriate 
definition or meaning of that idiomatic expression. 89. This is very important. This is serious. Stop pulling my leg. So even if we don't know the the literal meaning or the meaning of the idiomatic expression, we can denote that um, this is from the context clues. This is an opposite of <clears throat> uh, the preceding words. So we have very important, serious. So opposite is that. So stop pulling my leg. So stop making fun of me. So it's time to be serious. No, this is serious. So stop fooling around. Stop pulling my leg. So stop making fun of the situation. Alpha. 90. It has been raining cats and dogs for several days. Several days. So um, sometimes the weather caster would often use this idiomatic expression when 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 the the storm or the rain is pouring heavily delta kusog na jud kay ang ulan mura naghalas gabag you so it has been raining cats and dogs 91 when her friend invited her to hong kong nora jumped jumped at the chance so jumping at the chance would mean accepted eagerly, Charlie. So hindi niya papalagpasin ang ang pagkakataon. So she accepted the opportunity, Charlie. Ninety-two. They thought she was the apple of her father's eye. I think this is very common idiomatic expression. Samot na kung manguyab ang sa kalaki. You're the apple of my eye. So you are the favorite. You are the uh, what is that? Kung pa the stars the, in the eye. So ikaw ang um, focus. Ikaw ang interest. So apple of her father's eye would mean her father's favorite, not literally the apple, but the favorite. Ninety three. Janice feels blue today. Feeling blue is feeling sad. So, nag So, I feel blue today. Dili kay mura ka old. Ang sa itong mga blue. Nga mga, nga mga characters, mga avatar. No, it doesn't literally mean na nahimo kang blue, but you are feeling sad. 94. She saw red. She saw red. When she saw the garbage on the street, marasag namula siya. Kung ato na siyang i-literal, i, namula siya sa kalagot. So you have, uh, she became angry because uh, of the garbage being thrown in the street, not being disposed properly. So we have to dispose properly our garbage. Just not bio, non bio, recyclables and all. This is supposedly be 95. 95. The job offer came out of a clear blue sky. I did not expect it. So, even if we don't know the meaning of out of a clear blue sky, we can see or we can denote from the um, statement here, I did not expect it. So, wala ako na expect because it came suddenly. Kalit-kalit yang pag Upon. Let's have the last five items. 96. We have to choose the letter of the word that is closest in the meaning to the given word. Muna ni siya pinakalisod. Siguro, especially when you will be answering na your final examination because okay itong context clues, okay to idiomatic expression, kaya napakay hint, napakay clue because it is used in the sentence. The problem is, if you will be, nagid na rabadjit siya sa exam, um, only a word and then you are asked to find the meaning or the synonyms of it. And the problem is, wala ka kasabot sa word or karun pa kakatagbo and then the options also, they are unfamiliar to you. So again, uh, this is a test of how wide your vocabulary is. So, 
um you have to be familiarized with com uh with the words so read and read and read and um review other materials as well because uh there are many words in english vocabulary and we cannot give it all to you so you have to be a very wide reader and also give yourself um uh time give yourself uh, opportunity to read other materials as well let us have 96 nadir so when we say nadir it means the um the point where it is vertically downward from the observer so downward so this means that nadir is the bottom most point okay so delta is our correct answer let us go with 97 equitable is i think it's not that very uncommon no uh equitable equity share equal sharing so this is equal equity equal fair so equal 98 disseminate disseminate is to uh like disseminating information you you tell the other people about the information you scatter you spread the news so bravo when you disseminate information you spread the information bravo 19 traverse traverse is going from one point to the other so this is crossing boundaries or making for back and forth of a certain certain um uh journey so it's crossing from one point to the other when we say discern it means that um to identify something to detect something to select something so discerning is also similar to discriminate alpha oh charlie rather okay so that ends our 100 item test for um test four in our basic english i hope you did well and i hope you answered religiously and honestly your test four because again karma will goes back to you i joke it means that um whatever you do today uh you will always have to face the consequences of it tomorrow or later on so please i hope that you did well in your examination ang importante you learned from your mistake and that you will this will be your stepping stone um you will learn from all the mistakes you did so that when you take the final examination you will do good you will give your best and i hope that you will all pass Pass the test, the upcoming examination uh, in Jesus' name. See you everyone when I see you. Thank you so much.